In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to make your project portable. How do you take it on the road, so to speak? Let's assume that you're working like I am on a desktop and you have a project like I have on the screen and it's not quite finished, but you'd like to edit it on a different machine. Or maybe you are collaborating with another editor who also has PowerDirector and you want them to be able to take the project and keep the editing process moving forward. Maybe you put it up in the cloud, maybe you transfer it on some kind of removable media. How do you take your project and make it portable? Well, we're going to look at that. It's a very simple process. You take your mouse, you move to the file menu at the very top, at the upper left, and then you click on the sixth item down which is simply Pack Project Materials. That will open up your file system and you can find a file folder, a location where you want to put the project. I recommend creating an empty folder to do that. I've created one called Export. Now there's an issue that you must decide when you're also going to do the process and that's tied to this little box in the bottom which says include unused clips. What's that all about? Well, I have three clips here at the bottom of my, uh, in my bin here of all my uh, video data. And these three are not in my timeline. So if I want everything that's in my timeline plus everything that's in my container up here, I simply check the box that says include unused clips. And then it asks me to select a folder. I'll I'll, I will choose this blank export folder here and click select folder. And it will go through and it will take everything that's part of the project and insert it there. I'm going to pause the recording and show you what it put in my export folder. Inside the export folder, we have our master PDS uh, application, my Alpha Diamond, which is the name of my project. We have all the images I expected to find. We also have the three that were in my media folder but are not on my timeline. And then we have something interesting that I discovered. We actually have the graphics for my transitions. So I have the graphics here and I discover that uh, the people at PowerDirector, the engineers, licensed these from Shutterstock. So that was a rather an interesting revelation for me. Then we also have a subfolder called Titles. If I click on that, I see that I used one title, and I double click on that subfolder, and it was a motion title, and this is how they actually created the illusion of motion with a lot of uh, separate images in that particular title. But all of this is in my export folder that I can use as I put it up on the cloud or transfer it through some removable media for myself or someone else to edit. So that's what happens to be in the folder. Now in order to uh, launch this once you're in your uh, project, once you're using PowerDirector, you simply move to the location and double click on the PDS file and it will load everything back into your project. So all you have to do is locate this and double click on it, it will load. So it's a very simple process to take all this information and make it portable in CyberLink PowerDirector.